So friends, finally the most awaited uh, thing which I'm going to install custom ROM on my Redmi 12 uh, 5G. So I am really excited. Hope you are too. If you are following from the episode one and this is really, really great and leave a like and mention it in the comment section brothers and friends because it will be more motivating to me so before proceeding into the video uh, i have to tell that this particular uh, video is part of our redmi 12 5g uh, development series if you are watching this in the middle or something make sure uh, you check out that uh, playlist uh, to get uh, more idea on uh, how uh, the things are getting done all the way from unlocking the bootloader and installing the custom room so yeah make sure to visit the playlist so back to the video so now I have downloaded this, uh, what I would say, uh, Pixel OS from our uh, Telegram uh, community uh, channel. So here we have a Pixel OS uh, Android 13. So this is what I am going to use. This is unofficial, but uh, it's fine, I guess. So there are Android 14 builds also there, and uh, those are even up. Those are also unofficial, uh, but that is fine. So what I have to do is first you have to go here and download this one. So this ROM is around. Uh, I already have downloaded it. So so this is almost like uh, 1.39 GB. So that is there. And then you need a TWRP. In the previous video I have shown you how you can install TWRP. Now as I was uh, reverted back to MIUI, I will be uh, now booting to fast boot. From there I will be installing the TWRP. Once I install the TWRP, I will be installing this uh, Fixel OS. And this Fixel OS is uh, not uh, plain vanilla. It has the uh, G apps included, so that would be really fine. So if you are using any other older uh, firmware, as soon as you're buying it, you are unlocking or doing something, make sure you are using the latest firmware. Uh, if you are not sure how to install latest firmware, you can uh, go to this uh, site and you can uh, just uh, download the uh, uh, this one what uh, recovery based uh, India where is India yeah in recovery based one and once you download it you can just uh, simply uh, go to TWRP and flash this one if you want to uh, do if you don't have a recovery also uh, you can uh, download this uh, fast boot one and we have showed you how you can uh, flash this one in the previous video which you can watch so yeah it is simple as such uh, so once you have the ROM and uh, this one TWRP everything is set. So now I have uh, have to turn this device off. So I will turn the device off. Okay. And here I have the ROM. So first I will install TWRP. For that I have to open the ADB uh, tool. So here I have the platform tool. Here I have to open uh, CMD. If you watched uh, our videos you would have understood now because we are doing it for quite more some time and now i will use uh, volume down and power so holding volume down and power will bring you to the fast boot mode okay we are in fast boot mode so if you have already installed twrp you can directly boot to twrp you can skip this step but i'm just showing it uh, as i don't have the twrp so now we are in the fast boot what i have to do now well i have to open here and type uh, fast boot uh, devices and it will eventually show the fast boot device so and then i have to do fast boot uh, flash recovery and then i have to drag and drop the recovery so where i have the recovery here i have the recovery file i'm going to use uh, twrp only so i can uh, drag and drop this so these under already have we have shown in the previous video so i will be going it a bit faster so once you are uh, flash the twrp i will boot into twrp fast boot or uh, reboot uh, recovery so which will reboot to the twrp here one when it is happening i will go to this group and then check for the instruction how we can um, flash the room download aosp sky this one and then adb reboot bootloader fast boot right and fall boot this one okay and twrp i'm going to use it so installing it from recovery so i have to first uh, wipe and factory reset and then go back and apply update from this one okay so this is the step which i am going to do okay so what i have to do is well uh, first I have to go here and format the data so which is uh, will be helpful 
okay so once it is formatted now i have to uh, uh, what i have to i will just reboot to the uh, recovery again but before that i will just format dalvik uh, metadata data under okay so i will reboot to recovery okay so now we have uh, formatted our data so all your data will be uh, erased so we are doing uh, clean installation so now it is in uh, this one so what i have to do is i have to go to advanced and then i will tie i will select uh, adb side load okay i will go into wipe cache and uh, dalvik so i can store it okay so now i will open the tool here again and i'll type uh, adb devices so here you can see it is uh, now connected to side load we have already used this method to install magisk we are going to use the same method again so adb side load and then i'm going to uh, drag and drop this uh, particular row which i have it in this folder okay so this is recovery you can leave it so this is the file pixel os sky sky is just nothing but our uh, device name okay drag and drop enter okay something is wrong so i have used this uh, uh, single quote here so i'll remove it now it is you can see it is serving uh, to our device here also it started step one of two also it is uh, as as we know our muas is installed in the a partition so now uh, it will install in the b partition which is inactive partition okay so after installing this one this one currently will be installing in b partition after installing this one we will flash the uh, twrp or else uh, once it is installed we will reboot to recovery okay that time we can check whether it is in b partition if it is in b partition we can simply click the reboot to system okay so yeah if you reboot if it is in a partition if you reboot and if it is not switching to b partition it will be a boot loop okay hmm. if you go if you are not able to understand these things i have made a video of how the uh, slot and partition a b partition system actually works you can watch it using the link in the description of this video still installing so here it is almost 12 percentage so uh, it will be usually taking 47 i i believe so yeah so it is in 47 okay so here uh, it is asking to reboot to recovery to get it finished so it is uh, almost every time it will be stopping at 47 that is normal and uh, x fact uh, xf uh, x for uh, it is also fine so what i have to do is instead of uh, booting in this one make sure this one is installed in b partition okay now we are in a slot so if i reboot to recovery it should be in b partition if it is not in b partition we have to forcefully shoot it, uh, shoot it to b partition okay but the thing is it is now uh, what i would say rebooted to miua recovery so i am a bit uh, suspicious again i can just uh, reboot okay maybe it is because we should have installed the twrp now we'll see whether it is booting it or not yeah it is booting so uh, uh, the doing the reboot to recovery is actually uh, booting it to B partition. That is great. But if you are uh, facing the uh, boot loop or something, what I would do is you can just simply uh, go to fast boot and you can now um, how to change slot in fast boot. Okay, you can forcefully set the slot. Uh, how you can do is so the comment is simple and this is the one so if you set a uh, fast boot uh, space uh, dash dash set dash active equal to b if you set means it will be uh, set to b and then if you uh, put a uh, fast boot reboot uh, just fast boot reboot enter it will be uh, booting into b partition so like that also you can do now you see this one doesn't have the uh, twrp installed so I may have to after some time uh, boot again to fast boot and install twrp the procedure is uh, most probably the same so we'll see right so now we are uh, 
in the screen this is one of the happiest moment of uh, every time i will install this sim card as well uh, but but yeah i'll install sim card okay now i have uh, inserted this sim card we don't even need this cable so we can remove it and i will connect wi-fi also almost 16 minutes the video is going so god help me okay finally all the updates are getting installed in the back end so first boot always uh, takes some time especially when you set it in online with this one so we select next on to all the device so we'll turn off this diagnostic data so we have 16 to 6 pattern as well so now i so here you can see it is mistakenly showing but uh, fingerprint uh, seems to be working okay we have phase and lag as well okay so we are almost uh, set our device as part of pixel we have pixel launcher okay this is great so here i have the settings and about phone so it's a little bit uh, slow as of now i would say because it is installing all my application nearly some 86 applications so it has to settle up so it is running on uh, september 1st 2020 the security patch and the 5.10 uh, kernel on uh, android 13 so so android 13 we have uh, having it also here we don't have uh, much uh, customization i would say but we have a essential uh, google uh, sorry uh, android uh, stock android customizations so that is there and we have the uh, wallpaper and style options like we usually do after that uh, we have uh, yeah that's uh, pretty much about uh, this uh, thing so the camera will be this is uh, aosp camera so this is not going to be that great we'll try to install google cam or something in upcoming video okay that will be great so yeah that's what about uh, this video thank you for watching code moto